Yeah. All right, Coach Pack. I like talking. I told you I like picking picking brains, man. I like talking to people. I like talking to Contos. I like talking to Tony. Everybody I can talk to. Uh, I like to just get different perspectives of things. Uh, I love love hearing a guy who's a, I, I call you a junkyard dog, because you're just a savvy, smart guy who figures things out. But, but when I look at uh, the vision that you have, it's really hard to see something that a lot of people can't see things. Right. They can see something for what it is, not what it can be. Dude, where did you did, where did you get the gift from? The the visionary gift and to think how you think. You're always the wheels are always spinning. You know, I, 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 I don't know I don't know if I call it a gift or I call it a curse, but, uh, you know, I, it, I I love wrestling. I love what wrestling does for me. I love what wrestling's done for kids. And uh, I just, I, I want to I wanna make my mark on the wrestling world and leave something that no one else ever did. And I think that's where we're at right now with where, what, what we're doing. And I've got some more, I've, I've still got some more things I want to accomplish here. And, uh, and I'm working on those, and I've got a great group of people with Tony coming in to wrestle for me in college, and Josh Nolan coming in, who uh, is a Division II All-American that wrestled for me, that LOG was a big part of his life. And of course, with Cody being here as well, and for now, and um, coming back and forth, you know, LOG helped build his career, along with a lot of other people. And I think having those people around, the is going to continue to get better all the time. Okay, when I say vision, like seeing things and, and having, you know, a five-year plan, a ten-year plan, I, I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago, when your son came out here, signed with SDSU, your wife found this place. Yeah. Did, did you really think, you know, he's going to come to SDSU and we're going to start a club there? Was that really the plan or did it just kind of... It, it, it was the plan. I mean, it, it really was. I mean, when we found this place, I said, uh, it's his idea for the thing I always want to try to do, which was to build a camp system, build dorms, um, you know, build something unique. And, you know, so honestly it was the plan the whole time. I had no idea it was going to be to this extent, but it's been really, really good. So South Dakota, uh, it's, it's funny. Uh, a lot of people aren't moving from California to South Dakota, Colorado to South Dakota. You, and, you know, you get that a lot. You're, you know, that's All what brings you here, you know. And, oh, yeah. and you were in, like, the really nice part of, of California. You're yeah, in the Sierra Nevadas. Loved it. I mean, you're you're by Tahoe. You're an hour from Tahoe. Reno, Tahoe, Truckee yeah. area, which is great in the summer, great yeah, in the winter. It's, it's great year yeah, round. And you're, and you're right there. Um, that's a hard, you know, talking to your daughter today. Yeah. Sydney, she don't want to leave. Yeah, she loved it. She, she likes it here now, though. She does. She loves it here. So. Okay, you guys. But you know, speaking of vision, though, Linland's coming out. Head coach right. Matt Linland. He's coming out. Cody is training Greco for this quad. Correct. Okay. Uh, as far as vision, here at Legends of Gold, Linlin gets out here. Is there anything you kick around to Linlin? Is there anything you guys try and do here? Well, I, I, there, there's, 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 there's two pieces left of my madness. Uh, and, and the first one is to uh, develop freestyle Greco in our country like other people do. And I think that the mistake that I feel, and I don't know if I want to call them, call it a mistake, but I think the, the deficiency that we have as a country is that we don't start our youth kids and, and give them uh, enough style time in freestyle or Greco. We try to push it in towards their later years. And what I really, really want to do is see if I can talk to Matt and talk to USA Wrestling about um, doing something with the Greco team here. Um, and of course, you've seen the dorms and the lights out dorms and they're you know, they're, they're as nice and not nicer than even our OTC dorms, but because of fund, because of funding, it is very hard for those guys to have more than six beds with Greco, that's all they have. So I would like to be able to find some type of way that I can develop a Greco school here where the kids would attend the local school and we can teach in the first year just Greco to kids here, you know, two, three, four days a week. And, have them get a second specialty uh, at, at an age of seventh grade and up. Okay, so in our country, we do something that no other country does. It's called folk style wrestling. Right. How does that, if they go to Beersford High School, how does that, do they do they on the Beersford team? How do you work that? It's a delicate balance, I guess I'd say. It is going to be a delicate balance because, you know, I, I think that, I think first and foremost that is, it's not, it's not, meant to be a recruiting tool for any school. 
It's meant to be a way for, we're a regional training center. You know, it's in our bylaws that we're here to promote freestyle Greco Roman wrestling. It's, it's what we're supposed to be doing as regional training centers. There's only 13 of them in the country. And I feel like my, the way I can give the most to that, because I'm not a college, obviously, uh, the way that I can obviously give the most is to allow these kids that piece. Whether they decide to attend a local school or do a, you know, take take classes on whatever whatever their theory is. Some of them may go to school, but they may not wrestle a beer shirt. Uh, they may not wrestle at all. They might just do free, they might just do Greco. So I definitely think it's going to be a fine line. Um, but my ultimate goal is to verse our kids that come through the door in the art of a style other than folk style, because at some point that's going to end. You know, looking at Cody, Cody's a six-time Fargo All-American. Right. Now, he never placed in the state in California. That's right. And, you know, he's around the 12, I want to say, once or twice. Twice. In, yeah. Twice in the NCAs, which, you know, that's still a great accomplishment. You may, He may not think that right now, but that's right. it's a pretty hard thing to do, man. Right. But, you know, he's always a guy that, you know, folk style, that maybe that not be his style, but we could see the guy being an Olympian in Greco. Well, it happens all the time. I, I mean... Right, I mean, look how many guys that we see that are out there that do really well on those type of circuits that necessarily aren't NCAA All-Americans or national champions. And I, and I think that, uh, I think Greco, uh, you know, loans the most uh, vulnerability for an athlete to find a way on a team. Uh, because I just don't think our country does it as much as the other countries do. So, you know, and I haven't, I haven't really pitched this to... Coach Lendlin or anybody, but you know the, the wheels are turning, and it's something I'd like to see done, whether it be here or somewhere, to see our country have the opportunity to promote it.